Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking European sunscreens. I've talked sunscreen so frequently on this channel, but I've tended to focus down on the Korean sunscreen brands, on the Asian sunscreen markets, and I haven't really given the same attention to their European counterparts. That is such a shame, because honestly, there's some amazing brands and formulations coming out of Europe. So I'm gonna put that right today and share with you my absolute holy grail favorite European sunscreens, which could be perfect for your own skincare routine. Sit back, relax, and let's talk the best in European sunscreens. Now, one of the most frequently asked questions on this channel is which, what's the difference between European, North America, and Asian sunscreen formulations? And is there actually a difference at all? Well, actually there is huge differences and disparities between these different markets, but it can be really hard to quantify because of course, as with everything in life, there's lots of variation and nuance going on under the surface. I would say in like a broad stroke simplified version, I'd say European sunscreens tend to be a little bit more all encompassing. They tend to be more broad spectrum and put a higher degree of focus on the UVA protection rather than just the UVB, the SPF protection that a product gives. The reason for this is the regulatory environment. The European Commission dictates that for sunscreens to pass, they have to have a UVA protection, at least a third of the SPF UVB protection in the product. UVB radiation burns the skin, which is what the SPF value is designed to protect against. But UVA radiation is just as important because it can age the skin, it can lead to certain cancers, and can also damage the cellular structure of our skin. So it's really important that we cover both UVA and UVB protection in the products we choose. In terms of the Korean and the Asian um, sunscreen market, they tend to put a greater focus on the SPF protection. That's just because of the cultural differences in how sunscreen is worn. And over in North America, it's really difficult to actually get a high degree of UVA protection because of the really strict rules on the filters that can be used as dictated by the FDA. That's all a little bit confusing, but I'd say if you're looking for a really nice broad spectrum product that covers you against the burning, the UVB radiation, but also gives you really great locked in and protected by um, legislation UVA protection, Europe's a great place to look. And honestly, I can't wait to share some of these fantastic brands for you. So I'm going to cut the waffle and delve straight on in with my absolute favorite of the European sunscreen brands. And that's this. This is Ultraist Sunscreens. Now I've already fangirled about these on the channel before, and I'll leave a link to a full review up there if you want to explore their products a little bit more. These are so so ridiculously affordable. I'd say if there was an issue, if I was going to highlight one problem with the European sunscreen market, is it does tend to focus down on like the European wallet, which has a slightly higher price point than maybe what you'd see in some other countries. And I think this is a shame because it doesn't make them as accessible as I'd like them to be. And I think sunscreen should be available for everyone. Well, this is the ethos, li literally to a T of Ultraist. They wanted super affordable, high performance sunscreens that everybody can enjoy no matter what your budget. And honestly, some of these are my holy grail. I really like the Face Fluid, which is um, a really nice light. I'd say it's a slightly dewy rather than matte finish to the skin, but hydrates and is completely invisible. This is their SPF 50 spray, which is super affordable. I think this is like five pounds here in the UK. Has a really gorgeous fine mist on it, and it's an entirely chemical sunscreen. They do hybrid sunscreens. They also do chemical sunscreens. I think the only thing that's missing from the collection is an entirely mineral sunscreen. So it really depends. If you're looking for entirely mineral, you'll have to wait to some of the recommendations I'm coming on to later in the video. But honestly, Ultraist is a really great place to start. And I think like the standard bearer, the flag waver for European sunscreens, super affordable. And if you read their full scientific data that they've published on their website, the level of UVA protection in these products is literally unparalleled sky. Now I've left a link to the Ultra sunscreens in the description box in case you want to check them out as I will for all of the products mentioned in today's video. Definitely click on those links if you want to know what the price is, wherever you are in the world, you know the shipping rates and all of that good stuff. And whilst you're down there, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, a like if you also are a huge fan of um, European sunscreens and want to let me know. Now shall we move on to Elta MD. Now I love, love, love this brand because they're also huge in the States. It's really great to see a European brand have a presence in the States and they have reformulated some of their products to allow them to regulate for sale in the US. But I'm talking strictly about the European formulations here. 
I love this brand because they were one of the ones that cheerleaders for actually putting the true SPF value on the bottle. They don't round up, round down, they just put what the testing has shown the SPF value to be. So you'll see a lot of their sunscreens be like SPF 36, SPF 42, which seems a little bit odd to us, the consumer, when we're used to these round brands rounding up, rounding down to give a whole number. I love this. I just think that level of transparency is absolutely fantastic. They have some great products. They do mineral sunscreens if you want entirely mineral um, protection. They do chemical they do hybrids, some have tinted, they have some that have a more like skincare vibe to them with some added ingredients. Just all around a fantastic brand. They're entirely cruelty free, which I love because a lot of European sunscreen brands are owned by or dominated by some of the major skincare houses such as L'Oreal. So it can be difficult to find a cruelty free European sunscreen brand. But Ultraist and Elta MD are cruelty free to their core, which I love. There are so many different um, versions of products within this range. I definitely think it's worth taking some time to sit down and actually explore them to work out what you want to get for your um, for your own protection and for your own skin type. Some of them have a matte finish, some have a dewy finish. I think some will be better on lighter skin tones and others are perfect for the deeper, darker and richer skin tones. I just love a brand that has something for everyone. So definitely, definitely check out Elta MD if you want that guaranteed, verified, cruelty-free protection. Now, one brand which I think a lot of people think comes out of the States but actually is here in the UK is the Dr. Sam line. Dr. Sam Bunting is a dermatologist that has a presence here on YouTube. I definitely love her content. So I'll leave a link to some of her videos below. And she came out with her own skincare line. I think of all of the products she came out with, my two favorites are the sunscreen and the cleanser. Like the bookends of the skincare routine, she's got you covered. And I think they're so, so great products. This I love because it is kind of like, it takes the best of European sunscreens, but also applies some of the American standards to it, which just makes it available globally, which I love. If you see how this goes on the skin, Oh, it blends like nothing. We're quite used to seeing hybrid sunscreens, which this is, a combination of mineral and chemical filters, being a little bit chalky on the skin and leaving a bit of a white cast. This is entirely invisible and it's got some great skincare benefits as well. You've got a little bit of niacinamide in here to help brighten the skin and even out some of the oil production. You've got some great humectants and hydrators. And I find this leaves a moisturizing finish to the skin that's enough that on my oily, acne-prone skin, I don't need to go in with a separate moisturizer. So this is kind of like a sunscreen and moisturizer all in one. Great level of UVA protection alongside that SPF 50 UVB protection. It's just an all round amazing product that I would definitely, definitely recommend. Cruelty free like the Elta MD and the Ultra sunscreens were. And I think we're off to an absolutely flying star. Now, one thing that people always applaud European sunscreen manufacturers for is their blend of filters, the number of filters which they include in their products. When it comes to formulating sunscreen, you don't just have to choose between chemical and mineral sunscreen filters you actually have to choose the ones that you want to use and how many you want to use in a product. One of the things that often is called out with the La Roche-Posay and Thilios range is the total number of filters they use. They use between five and seven filters in each product. This is almost unheard of. There are some brands that are starting to do this more and more, but the more filters you have, the greater the level of protection and the broader the spectrum of protection that you're getting, which is why I'm so glad to see so many brands now formulated with additional filters to just up the ante in terms of the broad spectrum nature of the products. I know so many of you love, love, love the La Roche-Posay and Thilios collection, and honestly, these sunscreens are great. They're tried, tested, and independently verified. They have a great level of UVA protection alongside that UVA SPF protection that they give. And again, like with the Elta MD, there's something for everyone in this collection. They have some mineral ones, they have some chemical ones, they have the matte finish, the dewy finish. Like I say, a little something for everyone. I'll leave some of my favorites linked below. Again, as with the Elta MD, I think it's really important when it comes to choosing a sunscreen that you really read through all of the La Roche-Posay ones that are on the market and work out which one's right for you because some will have alcohols in, some don't, some have fragrance in, others won't. And so it's really important to just take some time, take that half an hour to sit down and work out which is the right one for you before placing the order. Once you have placed it and you love, love, love the product, then it's really easy because you can just reorder it time and time again. But I think when it comes to choosing sunscreens, it's really worth investing that little bit of extra time to explore the collection. And that's definitely the case with La Roche-Posay. Unlike Elta MD, unfortunately, La Roche-Posay aren't entirely cruelty free. I think this is 
such, such a shame. I know a lot of people prioritize protection over that, which is absolutely fine. Everyone has their unique take on what's their purchasing priorities, but I do just want to call that out in the video. But if you want kind of the same great level of protection and formulation as the Roche Posay and Thilios, but you're looking for a cruelty free alternative, then Elta MD is definitely the place to look. Now, before I close this video, I've got one more product and an honorable mention to call out. If you're looking to European sunscreens for that UVA protection, as I said at the start, UVB rays burn the skin. They're what cause that instant burning, that redness and that damage. UVA radiation actually has a more long-term impact. It can age the skin. It degrades collagen in the skin, which means we lose firmness and elasticity. It can be the trigger from some cancers and can alter the cellular structure of our DNA, which is just nothing that we want in terms of our own skin health and protection. So if you're looking to European sunscreens for that locked-in guaranteed UVA protection alongside a great SPF value, then I think Bioderma is honestly where it's at. So Bioderma put all of their um, sunscreens through rigorous testing and the UVA protection that their products were giving was honestly unparalleled in the industry. I said the Ultra sunscreens had a ridiculously high level of UVA protection. Bioderma, take it to the next level. And it was particularly their um, Photoderm range, which came out with the highest level of UVA protection. This was in some cases double what you traditionally see in European sunscreens. So if you want that guaranteed locked in high level UVA protection, Bioderma and their Photoderm range is where it's at. They have a couple of products within this range. Um, certain ones have different finishes and have different textures to them. So kind of take a little bit of time to work out which is the right one for you. But this is definitely for the hardcore UVA group that want to just get everything protected and that ultimate in broad spectrum protection. Honestly, Bioderma is where it's at. Now, finally, I said I've got one honorable mention that I want to call out for you. And this is the Skinny's Sun Gel. Now, the reason that I left this to the end is because technically they're not a European brand. They're an Australian brand based out of New Zealand. Now, my theory here is if Australia is allowed in the Eurovision song contest, then I can have New Zealand in my European sunscreens video. That's kind of, read me to filth in the comments if you think I'm an absolute idiot, but for me, that's my justification for this. And this is one of my absolute ride or die favorites. Whilst it's not strictly a European brand, skinnies do kind of have that same ethos in terms of the broad spectrum appeal and that transparency, which I absolutely love to see from the European counterparts. And so I think it can like have an honorary mention in the video. This is the Conquer, which is actually a hybrid sunscreen combining chemical and mineral filters. And this is is really really unique it goes on as almost like it's got the texture of a cleansing balm and it blends like butter into the skin again i love this because the use of filters they have so many filters in this product really doubles down on that broad spectrum appeal and this is the most hydrating sunscreen i've ever found there's no artificial fragrance in here so you don't need to worry if you're sensitive with fragrance there's no drying alcohols and honestly it smells divine and it's just got the very best finish in any sunscreen I've ever tried. It hydrates you to the gods. It is perfect as a base for your foundation or for any makeup that you want to put on top. And that number of filters that's used in this product combined with the hybrid nature of it, I just think honestly makes it rank alongside some of my favorite European sunscreens, which is why I'm giving it an honorable mention. And again, I've linked it below. So share your thoughts and feelings on Skinnies alongside any of the products mentioned today. When it comes to sunscreen, you've always got to do what's right for you, right? For your purchasing ethics for your budget and of course for the level of protection that you need. Hopefully this has just called out some of my favorite European sunscreen brands so you guys can in your own time browse them and work out which of their products might be right for you. Sound off in the comment section below if you've got thoughts and feelings on any of the brands or any of the products mentioned. Wherever you are in the world guys stay safe, stay well and love your skin. Take care. Bye.